Okay guys, welcome to a video. Today we're going to be talking about creating 60 designs a day. Let's be honest. The reality is, is a lot of you don't want to create 60 designs per day. That's fine. I want you guys to do this instead. When people say, and they think when I say create 60 designs per day, they think I'm saying create the 60 designs, upload them all to Redbubble in one day, and then repeat and repeat and repeat. And to be honest, that is what I am saying. But I realize that there are people that for whatever reason don't want to do this. Now, we already clarified that that it's it's not excuse worthy. Like, you can't make an excuse and say, I'm too busy, I have kids, I have this and that. Because the reality is, and I've shown this in the course, the POD design course, is that it doesn't take that much time to create the 60 designs per day. Uh, in fact, I had a video that I put out live, 34 minutes, I created 63 designs, okay? So this, is, this argument of creating 60 designs per day is irrelevant. I showed inside the course very specifically why those 60 designs you don't need to do niche research for, you don't have to do keyword research for, you don't have to do any of that. The, the 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 way that we create the designs takes care of that all for you inside the course and i've said this before and this is not me promoting the course this is me clarifying that the concept of oh i'm too busy or oh it's too hard or it's it's not practical all of that is is with all due respect uh decimated in in its uh in its efficacy okay Let's go ahead and move on to a concept where, let's just say for whatever reason, you don't want to do 60 designs per day. Whether you can or you can't is not the point. Let's just say you don't want to, okay? How about this? Let's make life easier. Let's have a day where you sit down once a week, right? And this is going to create massive red bubble success for majority of the people, okay? Because if you do exactly what I'm saying, yeah, you're not going to be doing 60 designs per day, but you're still going to be head and shoulders above the rest of the group. And maybe this is even more practical for you, okay? Let's, let's, let's talk about this. Sit down once a week, whatever day that week is. It could be a Sunday. It could be a Monday. It could be whatever day, a day that you're off, okay? Off from work, Okay. And if you work seven days a week, pick a day where you you have the least amount of work, okay? You sit down, and you create as many designs as possible. You use the exact method that I've shown in the course to create as many designs. Not just 60, I'm talking 100, 200, 500. It shouldn't take long, okay? Let's be honest. If you do the 60 designs per day, okay? And let's just say it takes you an hour. That's a minute per design. If you work for three hours, three times 60 is what? It's 180 designs, Okay? You're going to sit down, you're going to create these 180 designs, you're going to create 60 designs, 50 designs, 100 designs, 400 designs, 500. The number is irrelevant, but you want to do a lot compared to what you're normally used to, okay? And then on all the other days of the week, you're going to take a segment, a small portion of those designs, and you're going to upload them to your Redbubble store. You're not going to have to worry about uh, d redesigning, you're not going to have to worry about any of that, because you have it saved in the system that I've showed you how, how to do all this, Okay? What this is going to do for you guys is this is going to take away the stress from having to sit down, focus, and create. Why? Because we are essentially mod essentially modulating our work. This is going to improve your success, I'm telling you. What's the number one problem on Redbubble? It is consistency. For some reason, we have an issue in our generation. Not just our generation, by the way. I I'm saying the people that live in the world today. As opposed to our forefathers, our ancestors, who were forced to go out there and work because it, it, you know, depended on survival, the people in the world today have an issue with consistently working, consistently getting up every day and doing, you know, what's necessary, okay? If we really want to transcend and get to the top of the top, to the top of that mountain and truly achieve success with no excuses, we have to be consistent, Okay, and I get it. There, there are people who are busy, and there are people who have things going on in life. I get all that. I understand. That's life, right? We all have things in life that you know we we experience. We all have things in life that might hold us back. But the reality is, is if we sit and be in a uh, prone position, in a fetal position, excuse me, to our our problems in life, we're never going to succeed. We're never going to be pushing past the envelope. 
And we need to push past the envelope as successful people, people who want to be successful, people who want to transcend, who want to become making money where you could be like, yeah, I'm proud of the amount I'm making. We have to do things that we are not comfortable doing, okay? And I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of people here who maybe are motivated, maybe are, you know, really inspired, but they for some reason don't do it. This is going to be the formula that's going to change that for you. I'm not, once again, I'm not saying do 60 designs per day. What I want you to do is I want you to sit down for one day of the week, one day of the month, whatever day it is, okay? Sit down and create as many designs as humanly possible. As many designs. Turn up the music, put the Pandora app on, listen to a podcast, whatever you need to do. Shut the door on yourself, make sure nobody enters, make sure nobody distracts you, turn off your phone, sit down and create literally as many designs as you possibly can. Once you create those designs, guys, what you're going to be doing is throughout the weeks later, you're not going to have to worry about creating anymore. You're going to take a small segment, whether it be five designs, 10, 20, 30, whatever it is, and you're going to just add them onto your account on a daily basis, on a daily basis. You're going to keep adding, 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 adding. What this is going to do is this is going to take away that factor of lack of consistency. A lot of people have issues with consistency, right? They say, I struggle with consistency. I struggle to do it every day. I struggle to get up and and do the work. That's okay because this is going to be a solution to that. You're not going to struggle anymore. Why? Because all the heavy lifting is done. You've created the designs. That's the hardest part of, of all the work that we're doing is creating the designs. And honestly, it's really not that hard. And for those who are worried about the niche research, the tagging, the title, I've shown how to do all of that in the course and I've went through it already. Obviously, I can't show that publicly because it's classified information. I can't show that publicly. You guys get the deal. You guys know how it is. My point is with all of this is that we need to find loopholes in the system. If we know through through behavior that we are not consistent individuals, we are not Uh, dedicated fully to our craft, but we want to be, then we have to find ways around the certain situations that we're in. We have to sit down, we have to force ourselves and to, to not only get the work done, but to do it properly and efficiently so we can essentially be productive and not be running in place or stuck in the mud, as I say, right? You want to, and when I say productive, I'm not saying just create designs uh, mindlessly. I'm saying create designs expecting a particular level of results. Without the results, without the income, It's a waste of time, in my opinion. Like, if you're working on Redbubble day in, day out, and you don't get any kind of income, you don't get any kind of results, it's a waste of time. Now, of course, in the beginning, you're not going to get results, but you got to look at it on a level of wins. Getting traffic to your store is a win. It's not always just about the sales in the beginning. It's about the traffic. It's about the attention. You get those. That means you have proof of concept. It's just a matter of keep doing the same thing. So, once again, I'm going to repeat. I understand that because people have daily lives, they have things going on, that not everybody will be able to create 60 designs per day. And by the way, I've been hearing this fallacy going around in the comment section of some people saying, oh my god, I got banned because I did 60 designs. No, you didn't get banned because you're doing 60 designs. Redbubble specifically says you're allowed to do 60 designs per day. I've been doing 60 designs every single day now, guys. I'm not getting banned. I'm not getting blocked. I'm not getting deleted. It's about the way you do them. If you're going to copy off people, you're going to copy the exact tags. If you're going to do, if you're going to basically cut, you know, I'm going to be honest. If you're not going to put your best foot forward, you're going to cut corners. Red Bull is going to cut you out. And that's just the way it is. So as they say, you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't do things that you, you regret because you're in a rush just to get 60 designs up. I would much rather have you do 30 designs than 60 if all those 60 are going to be dog crap. Let's be honest. And to be honest, guys, I'm being strict on you guys and tough on you guys because this is the reality. We need to be tough on ourselves. The world in 2022 is uh, it's becoming um, like a weak world. Let's be honest. Nobody wants to take accountability anymore. Nobody wants to step up to the plate, be honest, and admit that they could be doing better. And I'm going to be a different channel here where I'm going to say, guys, we could all be doing better. I don't care if you're doing 60 designs per day. There's some way that you can improve. There's some ways that you could better. And we could all agree on this. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's doing a, a perfect job right now. We, we could all find a way to fi- somehow, some way, find something to improve on. So, Solution 
is if you can't do 60 designs per day, the first thing you need to do in your life is maintain consistency towards Redbubble if you truly want to succeed. For some people, that might look like creating five designs a day without missing a certain day. And anybody could do it. For some other people, it might be creating a simple one design a day. And when I say creating, I mean posting. Because obviously you're going to take one day out of the week or the month. And you're going to create as many as you possibly can. For other people, it might be 30 a day. For other people, it might be 60. For other, it might be 15. I personally don't know the situations that everybody has going on in their life, okay? There might be people who are sick watching this. There might be people who are depressed, lack of motivation, etc. But all I'm telling you is, is that let's push forward to a better future so that when 2020 is over and it's all said and done, we can look back five years from now, 10 years from now and say, hey, 2022 was the year that I went all out and this is what I did. And I love that year because I was successful during that year. So guys, if you want to make this year a success, we have to push past our limits. I don't care what anybody else tells you. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be simple. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be straight work. All right. So and, and, and to be honest, guys, let's be realistic here. If anybody doesn't like this message, then you don't like working. Then you don't like being successful. So, and, and I have nothing to say to that person. I mean, this channel is only about success. Only about success. And it doesn't matter if it's on Redbubble. Doesn't matter if you're doing Amazon. Doesn't matter if you're doing Walmart. Doesn't matter. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're starting your first blog. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're a gamer, if you're a streamer, if you're a podcaster. I don't care if you started your first landscape business. It doesn't matter what you're doing. We need to strive to success in every aspect of our lives for 2022. We don't get another chance at 2022, guys. After 2022, it's over. 2023 is going to start, and we want to move into 2023 with a new life, a new, a new way of living, a new level of being right? And let's be honest, the people who are at the tip of the top, the cream of the crop, the ones who are successful in life, the ones who it seems like everything they touch turns to gold, they go through these hard times. They go through these struggle periods where they put themselves through immense amounts of pressure. They deal with the pressure and then they move on forward into the future with the, with the rest of the world on easy mode. Why? Because they've already played on hard mode. They've already played on the challenging level. Right, And this is the challenging level for all of us. 2022, we need to challenge ourselves to a new extreme. We can't sit here and say, oh my God, I'm motivated, I'm this and that, and then do nothing about it. No, we got to push ourselves, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video, uh, you find it impactful. And more importantly, you execute. You execute on what you want to achieve. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Peace out, bye.